Thank you, Rod. So, How you doing? Yeah, feeling good, feeling great, feeling uh, achieved, accomplished, but uh, you know, there's still more work to be done. Two and one over Yuri. Um, I guess, how does that feel first? You know, Yuri's a uh, phenomenal opponent. He's very weathered um, in the sport of jiu-jitsu, multiple time ADCC world champion, and the reigning ADCC absolute champion, which is an amazing accomplishment. And I was able to go out there and pretty much sweep him at will, pass his guard multiple times, and um, you know, score on him. And, you know, I, uh, a great camp due to my B team jiu jitsu teammates. You know, we put, we put the work together and uh, we got a, an awesome result. Was there a specific game plan against Yuri? The game plan is always the same. Uh, just win in a dominant fashion, and if need be, knock their dicks in the dirt, and that's kind of what it did today. It looked like uh, you were complaining to the referee that he was kind of like holding, like he was kind of like basically stalling on you. Yeah, I mean, there was a, a situation like, you know, I was um, – I pulled guard and got a negative one early on in the match, and that was due because, like, I was trying to work, but he was controlling a single leg, which was preventing me from heisting or, or something like that. So, you know, it kind of looked like I was just sitting on my butt when in reality I was working. Uh, and then there was a few other situations where I was on top passing guard, and he, uh, Yuri could just kind of grabbed the single leg and was uh, proceeding just to hold the single leg and trying to maintain that, that like, a submissive position as opposed to working towards a better position. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, – just the game we're in, you know, you got to constantly adjust your, your strategy towards different rule sets, and uh, this is no different. What do you think of the new rule set? Yeah, I think the new rule set is great. You know, it's a uh, ADCC hybrid, hybrid rule set. In the world of jiu-jitsu, there's so many rule sets that you have to get accustomed to and constantly adjust. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm acclimated to, the adjust, to adjusting, and, uh, you know, the rule set worked towards my favorite. It, it, it leads towards uh, continu continuous pressure, continuous uh, movement, and you know I have a very offensive game, so the rule set definitely benefits my style. What is your favorite rule set? My favorite rule set is, I think I like a submission only rule set. The problem is that if there's no submission, it goes to the judge's decision, and you know, um, judge's decision can you know it can be a little bit flaky sometimes. So uh, you know. I like, I think honestly, I like uh, EBI rule set because if there's no submission in 10 minutes, at least you have a definite winner and definite loser in EBI overtime. Although you get some guys that just stall until EBI overtime, which that can be some issues. But at least with the EBI style format, you have like numbers don't lie. Either you escape early or you get submitted and, you know, you have a definite winner or definite loser. So, but, uh, you know, again, like I said, I'm, I'm, accustomed to, I'm accustomed to adjusting. So whether it's 50 minutes up only or an ADCC hybrid rule set like this or an EBI rule said um, I will come out victorious he called out Gordon again uh, we asked Gordon back here kind of just kind of just scoffed it off played it off didn't, didn't really want to comment says that you guys just always keep his name in your mouth for for clicks and likes what well I mean uh, clicks and likes I mean I'm trying I'm giving him an offer I'm betting fifty thousand dollars my own good hard-earned money to say that I'm better than you and I mean 100k winner take all like Gordon's kind of guy. He used to do bet matches. On his come up, he was betting guys ten and twenty thousand um, dollars to say that uh, you know he beat them, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm taking the same concept. You know, he was betting guys back in the day. Now I'm doing it on a bigger scale in front of millions of people in UFC Fight Pass. I'm putting up fifty k of my own hard hard earned money. He puts up fifty k, hundred k winner take all. I mean, um, I don't see no downside to it besides him losing. You know, so unless he's scared, unless he knows that he's going to lose the match, uh, that's the only reason that he wouldn't accept. It. Do you think? Do you think he's avoiding you? I know that he's avoiding me. He does not want a match against Nicky Rod, right? His his favorite rule set is uh, is oh let's do a no time limit match so we can get uh, somebody to quit or to concede. It's like bro, that's it's this isn't a an NBA game. This isn't we don't have four quarters like a you know like a football. You know what I mean? Um, listen, let's make it ten minute, twenty minute match, whatever. Uh, but let's let's have a match and let's get it done. Um, was there anybody on the card that you that you saw that that impressed you? Uh, yeah, when I was out com out there competing, I was looking down upon myself. I was like, "That guy's doing great." <laughs> Makes sense. Um, and then finally, um, what's next for you? Is, is there anybody other than Gordon that that you want to compete against next? Well, Gordon's number one. If he doesn't uh, accept, I will gladly put a weapon upon his teammate, Nicholas Marigali. So I would like that uh, as number two. If Gordon doesn't want to accept my match, then I'll take his teammate. You know, obviously, Nick, Nicky's good. He beat, uh, he beat Pena via submission. 
Um, so it's only right that I go out there and uh, put a weapon on them. You doing ADCC next year? ADCC, absolutely. Be, I'll be there winning in a dominant fashion as I did tonight. Congrats. Thank you. I just have one question, sorry. Um, you know, we're mostly MMA people, so we don't follow grappling as, as closely. I'm just curious what the reputation of UFC Fight Pass Invitational has within the jiu-jitsu community. Where, where does it kind of rank amongst the, the legitimate promotions? Uh, in my opinion, UFC Fight Pass is, is only one stage behind the behind um, ADCC World Championship, which is considered our Olympics. You know, it's just uh, ADCC has a very has a reputation for breeding the, the best grapplers. And honestly, UFC Fight Pass is right there. You're bringing out the absolute best grapplers in the world to go against each other to figure out, you know, who, who's number one. It's a different rule set. Um, it's a humongous audience. Uh, I... I know that UFC being involved heavily in grappling as they are is doing wonders for the sport. It's, it's bringing in new mixed martial arts fans, putting eyes on jiu-jitsu, and honestly, I cannot thank UFC enough. So I truly appreciate you guys having this awesome event over and over, and I appreciate all the time you guys spend growing our sport.